Okay, today we've got two uh, things to try here that were sent to me by Ivan. Ivan sent me a note. Um, he's telling me that he um, he he's discovered this particular beer that I'm going to do here at a beer festival, and he says it's his beer of choice. So we're going to do that. Uh, the the strawberry wine he made himself. It's rock hard. It's carbonated, and I can't wait to try this. It's been sitting in my fridge for couple weeks now actually the beer that we've got here is a Duvel Duvel Belgian god my I should mean forget to get my glasses out here it's a Belgian golden ale there's the there's the um, the bottle kind of a cool shape to it actually and uh, it says this, this is beer of choice so let's let's check out what Ivan likes and what he prefers as a, a go-to beer now it's uh, I've never tasted this before um, let's give it a whirl here we go let's give this a careful it's very golden in color looks like we might be uh, Dealing with a lot of a lot of foam in this one. It is cold. It's come right out of the fridge, so it's been in the fridge for like, again, like two weeks. Look at that! My God, that's well, that's what it shows you on the on the label. It's got the back there. It's got the a lot of foam on that. So there you go. That's the that's the ticket. <sighs> it's got sort of um. Oh wow. There's a lot of upside down action going on there. You guys probably can't see that. Disclaimer, I'm not a beer reviewer. I do not have a license to do this. Okay? I just like to drink it. People send me them to try, and I never get to try these beers normally because all of a, you'd have to travel all over the place to do it. All right. Not getting too much of an aroma. A little bit of like a Sleeman kind of flavor here, or aroma here. A sort of a... Um, it's got that sort of deep... Um, I don't want to say skunky because that's a that's a bad word in the beer world. But it's got that sort of, you know, Sleeman's kind of style to it. Um, and I'm just going to go for it. Let's do it. Cheers, Ivan. Thanks for this. And don't forget we're going to do the, this cherry wine after this. Is it a cherry wine? Did you say it was cherry? Sparkling strawberry wine. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. That's why we like to get notes in these things so we know what we're dealing with. All right, let's give this a go. Cheers, Ivan. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That's carbonated. Wow. <sighs> Very, um... Now, here's the thing. It, what I've noticed here is that when you get the aroma, and this is my own little, you know, critique when you get the aroma you think oh my god it's going to be a little bit it's kind of a skunky uh, flavor to it like a Sleeman's beer which you know I'm not saying that's a bad thing but then when you drink it there's there's so much carbonation that it it kind of hides that and so you get the aroma and the taste are sort of different and when you combine them in the palate um, it's very interesting. It's kind of sweet as well. It's got a sweet sort of uh, balance to it, um, going against the uh, the the aroma that we get from it. So it's a very interesting beer. Look at the head on that thing. I mean, it's just it's like meringue. That's fascinating. That is a fascinating beer. Because there's that picture, um, picture a beer that is, you know, like a Sleeman style beer, kind of got that, you know, again, I hate using the word skunk, but that sort of, you know, angle to it. But then it's also sweet on the other side. And it's very carbonated. Now, I, you know what? I could have looked this up. I guess I could have looked it up on Beer Advocate or whatever and got and cheated, you know, 
and got the, the entire thing in my head before I did this video, but I don't like to do that. Um, I'd like to be unbiased, and I'll look at it, I'll look this up later. I'm, I'm kick myself in the butt. Probably got it completely wrong, but the balance between the aroma and the taste is is amazing. Um, it's like two two bookends, you know. And in the middle, you've got the carbonation. You've got the this the the you know the malt. It's a very light beer, like colored beer. All in all, I think it's a fantastic beer. I think that um, that he's right on when he says this is his beer of choice because it's a very refreshing. It's as carbonated as a Coke. But it's a very clean tasting beer. And it's interesting that you don't get the aroma when you drink the beer. You just get that on the in the nose. And that's cool. That's a very that's a very unique thing for me. I don't I'm not used to that. I don't have a license to <laughs> to review beers. I don't claim to be a you know, if you want to get good beer reviews, go to um Beer Geek Nation. Okay, there's the fella you want to go to to get the good beer reviews. It tastes great. It really is a nice balance between the sweetness and the that off thing that you get when you... Yeah. Cheers, Ivan. Thank you very much for sending me that. That's an awesome beer. We're going to enjoy that after this video. I, I'm going to sit back and relax the rest of that. Or... <laughs> drink the rest of that while I relax. I'm dying to get to this this wine that he made. Okay? Sparkling strawberry strawberry wine. It's been a long night. Actually it's been a done a couple other reviews. There we've got a lot of action coming up from the bottom there. Seems to be staying clear though. Okay, you can see that, I'm sure, if you're watching this in HD. There you have that. A little bit of, ooh. Wow, that's, oh, let's, 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 let's strap into this baby. A wine with head, wow. Look at that, that's a really sparkling, just a t conundrum of stuff going on in there with the bubbles. We'll just avoid the sediment there. There we go. Running out of room here. <laughs> oh, that looks that looks awesome. Stuff coming up from the bottom there, nice bubbles. Beautiful carbonation that then in that. Nice fruity strawberry. It does smell like strawberries. All right, let's do it. It's too bad my wife is sleeping right now because she would love this. This is Ivan, man. How did you do this? What's the alcohol on this one? I don't think he says. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I better be careful. There's quite a bit of carbonation. There's still bubbles coming up from the bottom. It got a little bit cloudy when I poured it. When you pour it, when you open beers that are very carbonated and there's stuff in the bottom, you're going to get the upheaval from the bottom. I can't taste any yeast or anything like that. It's fine. It's very carbonated. But it's um as good as any wine cooler I've ever tasted. I mean, I'm talking store-bought, carbonated, um sparkling, champagne. Um he's got this down. I have never carbonated a, uh, a wine before. Um, when I make my wine from kits, I, I do enjoy it. I do think it tastes really nice. When I make it from, you know, the inmate side of things, you know, the inmate brew, it's kind of, it's okay. It's drinkable. It's cheap. <laughs> um, you know, you can, you can catch a, a nice buzz. But this isn't about catching a buzz. This is about you serve this at dinner. Or when you're celebrating New Year's, this is an awesome uh, drink. Like it doesn't taste like an inmate thing or a you know a makeshift wine. This is a real. This is the real deal here. Absolutely. I mean, when you're drinking this, you can almost see the strawberries. You know, the red with the little green thing on them. It's 
fantastic. Um, how'd you do it? <laughs> these guys, they send me these things and they don't tell me how they did it. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's torture. Because once this is gone, you know. Um, anyways, Ivan, thank you very much for sending me these products. Um, that, uh, you know, you've, you've done a great job on this wine. Um, I don't think these people are sending me these things unless they think that they're worthy of of having me try. I mean, this is why <clears throat> when I get stuff like this, it's rare that I get something I don't like or that's off. You know, I have a, a large appreciation for different beer styles, different wine styles. If somebody makes a beer or a wine that tastes crappy, I doubt they're going to send it to me. That's the thing is that, you know, I know it looks like I like everything I get, but the thing is, is that these people are proud of what they make. They like it and they're saying, hey, you know what? This is good enough to send to Craig or to somebody else on, on YouTube, to send to somebody to try. And that's why we're getting good results from this. That burp tasted like the beer. <laughs> it came back on me there. I'm double fisted. Look right <laughs> thanks to ivan but uh thanks ivan and i'm gonna go i gotta sneeze in a minute it's coming i gotta go cheers guys 17 take care Bye bye <laughs>